What's up guys? Dr. Rehan Dowd here back with another video. Today we're going to talk about how to pick projects and we're going to use VChain as a good example. Let's get started. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoy the video. So the first thing you want to do when you're identifying a project is first ask yourself, what does this project do? And what sort of problem or pain does this project try to solve? So what that means is if you can't actually understand what the project does, then you shouldn't even bother investing in it because you're not going to be able to keep up with the news. You're not going to be able to understand what's going on. You're not going to be able to grasp concepts. So that's not to say you shouldn't invest in the project, but that means you need to shore up your educational background on what the project actually does before you throw money at it. So if we're talking about a project like VChain, what they do is they work within the field of supply chain management. So they are tracking from end to end the movement of products in the supply chain. And if anything, COVID has shown us that there's definitely issues that can arise in supply chain management. And so projects like VeChain definitely have a niche that they can improve things upon. The next thing you want to look at is what other kinds of projects out there that do the same thing. Now with VeChain, we're not dealing with a new project. But when VeChain came out, there was definitely other supply chain projects that were trying to do a similar thing. And so at the time, you would compare VeChain with these other projects to see where they differentiate, why are they better, why are they worse, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the next thing you want to identify when you're looking at any project is the team, right? And arguably the team and the advisors are the most important aspect of any project that you invest in. The reason for this is the team is what's going to propel the project forward. If the project has an amazing idea, but the team is weak, it's irrelevant. The project's not going to go anywhere. Whereas a weaker project idea could actually be propelled and pushed forward to success by an extremely strong team. And in VeChain, we see a team that has a lot of experience in companies like Louis Vuitton, Barclays, H&P, and others. And if we look at the advisors, and then secondly, the venture capital that backs VeChain, we see a lot of strength there. And that's always going to be the second thing you want to look at is who's backing the project? What VCs? Are they tier one VCs, tier two, tier three? Because there's even different tiers, right? You want investors that are going to invest in a project and want that project to succeed. You don't want investors that are just looking for a quick pump and dump, right? Where they're going to buy into a project and as soon as their tokens unlock, are just going to dump it, right? That's not what you want. You want investors that are committed to seeing the project forward. So coming back to VeChain, we see strong investors. We see Tim Draper, Jim Breyer, and PwC, right? If you don't know, PwC is a very well-known company in the consulting field, and they are heavily invested in VeChain. So when push comes to shove, PwC is going to probably recommend VeChain to its clients. So the other thing you want to see not necessarily for a newer project or a smaller project, but definitely for an established project is you want to see what are they doing? What, what successes have they had? What sort of partnerships have they built? Who are they working with? Right? So for a project like VeChain specifically, which is already a, a big market cap project, you want to see that they're actually accomplishing things. And with them, we can see that, right? They're working with companies like H and M, B and W, Walmart in China, and, and tons of other projects, tons of other companies. So ultimately the next question is, you know, what do we think in terms of possible price prediction? So as you can see, VeChain is already pumped, right? Now, if you were lucky and you got in anywhere in the past few years, besides right here, you killed it, right? You killed it. But ultimately starting around November, December last year, the entire cryptocurrency market really pumped up. So you're going to see a lot of projects that are just pumped, right? We've seen that. We've seen ADA, we've seen Polkadot. We've seen, you know, Chainlink, Uniswap, and obviously Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is not an unusual graph to see, right? But really the best time to get in in projects is when they're cheap, right? And then take profits and sell when they're pumped, right? So regardless though, as long as this bull run keeps going, there's definitely a lot of upside to VeChain because it's a strong project. It has an actual use case. They have a strong team strong VC backing, um, lots of good partnerships. There's definitely upside to VeChain, right? You know, right now it's at 14 billion, right? So it's already, you know, a heavyweight, but 
it wouldn't be unusual to see to see this 4x from here or 5x or 6x you know we may see reasonably speaking a five dollar v chain end of year right as long as the market keeps pumping 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 right but the risk is you're buying in now you're buying at the peak right me personally for my personal strategy i wouldn't really be buying much here right but that's because i was buying back here right back here and back here and back here and back here and back here right so me personally i wouldn't be accumulating much here right if it pulls back you know that may be a time to pick up some right like if you really were wanting to get in you probably didn't want to get in here but now that it's pulled back you know it could be a, it could be an opportunity to get in right it's it's hard to say right man at the end of the day i'm not here to provide you financial advice i'm not here to tell you what to do and if you screw up if you lose everything that's on you right it is what it is right so you gotta you gotta decide what you want to do so look guys ultimately the market is getting heated projects are skyrocketing and if you're in cryptocurrency now you're making life-changing money but that doesn't mean the fundamental way that we assess and look at projects changes it doesn't you still need to look at projects correctly you need to analyze their teams their advisors their vc backings make sure they have a strong narrative a strong use case and that you can actually understand what these projects are doing. You can't just throw your money at anything under the sun. You, otherwise, you're going to get wrecked. So I'm definitely going to come out with another video going over my general portfolio, how I structure it, how I weight things between Bitcoin, Ethereum, major altcoins, mid-cap picks, lower picks, more degen picks. And that will probably be coming out in the next few days. So stay tuned for that. So again, Dr. Ray here. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful. I'll definitely come up with some other videos going over things like my portfolio, other investment strategies, and what my thoughts of the market are. Thanks.